Gu guys? Oh, don't tell me you two are stuck together. Look. I know. We're going home after this, I promise. I, I see that look you're giving me. You're ready to put your feet up. You're ready to have a nice night's sleep in your own bed and not in a hammock. Sorry. Look, I get it. Come on, please. Please. I'll offer you both a raise. Don't shrug me off like that. Pretty please? Right, steady. We do not want to fly this through the museum now that we've recovered all of the relics. Easy. Oh, we're getting the hang of this. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's just lovely. We could park it up by the safe house, but we may as well leave it on the ground floor. If we're coming back from an adventure, we want to be able to get through to the back office as quickly as we can. Oh, and solid, solid earth again. It's, it's lovely having our own airship. It's, it's truly breathtaking views and the way you feel the wind up so high. Now that we can actually appreciate it, now that we're not panicking over everything being stolen. It's it's marvellous, but I am always going to have a slight sense of relief when I do finally set both feet back upon the solid, solid earth. Hello, we're back. Yes, the, the brave adventurers return. We are successful. We've recovered everything. At least I think we've recovered everything. We're going to have to sort it all out again. I think it's safe to say it's fair of us to leave that to Orion and the rest of the members of the Explorer Society to put everything back on display. Orion, you around? You still in the back office? Oh. Oh, oh I see you're armed. Probably a good idea. I see we've not gone around to clearing up the bodies yet. Orion. It's going to take days to clean this up. Oh, don't you worry. We have recovered the museum's artifacts. Oh, dear. Are you serious? You managed to recover all of them. Every single stolen relic. That I'm aware of. Oh my, that is fantastic news. I'll get right to work restoring the museum to its proper glory. It will take me a few days, but I'll get things back to normal. Are you right? I hope you're okay. Like, it's, it's been a dreadful couple of days for us. Be careful out there. I will. So, and you. I, I'm glad you armed yourself, actually. I'm glad they didn't take your sword. Excuse me, my friend. I, I would have thought they'd have stolen that. Excuse me. It's okay, Inigo. Right. It's early in the day still, but... Whew. Let's get a proper night's sleep. Sleeping in the airship is one thing, but we need to relax. We need to take our the weight off our feet. And I don't really want to go too far until we have got the museum back up and running. I don't want that playing in the back of my mind whether everything's okay back there until I know Orient's alright, the displays are back, and that we've got new staff to protect the place. And we still need to wait for Avram to return. Just decide what we need to do regarding him. Right, everyone. Something on your mind? Wait here, Lucien. So long as you come back for me. It's okay. No, no, don't you worry. You just take your time and relax. This is your time off. In a go. I'll be here. Very good. Thank you, Shirley. Take your time. Make yourself at home. I don't want her to find out about my stash. Not that I, I think she'd steal it or anything like that. It's just a few of people that know the better, I suppose. Right. It is dim in here. I always second guess whether that lantern is lit. Let's us add. And it's just as well we had this treasury, given the fact that we were robbed. Let's put about 8,000... Actually, let's keep it round. Let's keep a round number in here. I'm going to put 8,000 septums in the treasury. There we are. A few more gems, a few more pouches of gold. This is beginning to fill up nicely. Now... The first thing I'm going to do now is have a well-earned bath. So, uh, let's close the curtains. 
It's comforting to see everything returned to its rightful place. The mask on the wall along with the claws, the various oddities of weaponry, the sword of the Crusader. We can now venture out on the journey to recover all of the relics of the Crusader now that we have better clues as to where they actually are. But now I think it's going to be the difficult part. Orion? Avram? I see you're back. How are we doing? I have finished tending to my brother's burial. I thank you for allowing me that. I am ready to discuss my punishment. Yes, as am I. I see you made it back in time for it. You kept true to your word. Of course. I may have been blind in this situation, but I do have a code of honor. I am ready to face whatever punishment you deem necessary. I do question your code of honor, considering you didn't tell us about your past, and it has led to this disastrous turn of events at our museum. Orion? What? My friend, might I have a word with you first? Yes, I was hoping to have your, uh, your perspective on the matter. What would be your intended punishment for Avram's oversight? Uh, well, I... I, I have to hold this against him. Pe people died and we nearly lost the entirety of our collection. I, I think firing him is extreme. As tempting as it is, I, th I think it's too extreme. I, I've calmed down over the last couple of days of putting everything back in its place in the gallery where it should be. It's, it has soothed me. You know, now we're away from that stressful situation, but he, he has to answer in some way for his negligence. Very well. Then how about we simply demote him and I hire a new guard captain with a less controversial past? <sighs> I, I think it's hard to argue. If he really has this code of honor, he's going to be keeping an eye out for anything like that happening again. We've taken care of Jalal and his thugs. I don't think there's any more past ties of Avrams that can be used against us. And if he's keeping any of those secret, then next time, if there is a next time, he is firing. I, I just want the artifacts to be safe. Of course, and I did promise you that as well. So we'll make certain security is reviewed. Is that that then? You're back. Wonderful. Oh, hello. Thank you. It's nice to see you too. So how, do you, how does that sound to you, Avram? I appreciate you allowing me a second chance. I'll make sure that I do everything I can to aid whoever is put in charge in my stead. Thank you again for your understanding. It wasn't I easy. something amongst Jalel's personal effects, tucked away in Engelman's rest, which I would like you to have. It was the sword of our father, Hagram. With Jalel dead, it passes to me, and I would like you to have it. You don't need to do that. I... It, it's kind of you. I can display it if you wish, but you don't need to feel obliged to do that just because... Well, as opposed to me saying you caused this mess, it's just going to pile on the guilt, but I'll, I'll display it proudly. Thank you. It is the least I can do for you in repayment for your forgiveness. A true repayment will be to ensure it never happens again. Make sure it doesn't. Otherwise, next time, as you heard... I will be pushing to get you sacked. Right, well that's the end of that saga then. Let's have a look at this sword. Where it, Oh! Hagram's Light. The sword of Avram and Jalal's father. A gift from Avram. What? I... Oh. It's, it's not for me. I can't say it's for me at all. It's very short as well. It's just a little bit gaudy. Can we display this anywhere or possibly? Well, now that the museum's back in business, I can actually talk to Orion about that Daedric hammer we found. I can start filling gaps in the armory. Where are we are we all going to the library? Orion's not in here, is he? Right, library, library. Excuse me, Madras. Where's he 
back on. I swear this man's impossible to find. No, we got a book. We've got a we've got a book. Curator's Guide. Orion is in a gallery of natural science. Thank you, magical book. Right. Natural science is up. Upstairs? Upstairs. I think it's upstairs. I don't think it's a good sign that I can't really remember where any of the halls are off my heart. The Dragonborn Hall is upstairs. Yes, Natural Sciences is down here. It is, yeah. Orion? Oh, there you are. Orion. What can I do? Uh, this is, this was it. Uh, now that everything's back up and running... What can you tell me about this peculiar hammer? I'm under the impression it's a Daedric artifact belonging to Sanguine. Was it the Prince of Revelry? Oh my, this hammer. Yes, I do believe what we have here is the lost relic of the Daedric Prince Sanguine. Oh, brilliant. There are very few tales about the hammer, also known as the Inebriator. But the peculiar intoxication enchantment fits his motives perfectly. A fantastic find, my friend. I'll set a place for it in the Daedric Gallery where you can display it. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Orion. See you around. Oh, see you. While I'm here, can we make the Hawker display? I know I've got Hawker meat and a tusk. From storage? No, I'm sure I've got meat and a tusk. Right, we need to get to the bottom of that. Hello. Hello, sir. We're back open for business. Like, nothing ever happened. Excuse the brief pause of us being closed. Oh. The inebriator, though. It's one hell of a hammer, like, armory. Supposedly, according to my notes, we don't have a steel sword on display, but I find that very difficult to believe. I thought we'd fleshed out the steel display fully. Steel. There it is. Yeah, there is a steel sword. Which, I can see here, for some reason, hasn't been ticked off our list. An elven. Right, we've got dwarven. Everything's ticked off there. There's, there's the elven gear. That dagger says it's not been collected. The mace as well. It's all a little bit odd. I'm going to have to get to the bottom of that. That's better. Oh, that's so much better. Yep. Perfect. We've taken time. We've gone through our list. We've made sure it's all up to date. Right. Now we can focus on fleshing out our Daedric display. It's a little bit pathetic with just the dagger there, I must say. It almost makes me want to take the dagger off display until we have something a little bit more substantial. It's not like, at least with the, the ebony over here, or at least with the Ancient Falmer. We have a giant sword for the Ancient Falmer. And a mace. For the Ebony, we've got the helmet, a shield, and a couple of the weapons. And a Daedric one. This is a little dagger dangling down here. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Try saying that three times quickly. We're up to 416 displays. And I've just spied these notes. Orion's notes on Shalador's stone. In all of my studies of magical legend and lore concerning Skyrim, none have fascinated me more than the exploits of the great Shalador. I was fortunate enough, in fact, to have come across some of his writings, and after some effort of deciphering them, I discovered quite an interesting account of the construction of a magical stone, which Shalador referred to as an arcane battery, which could focus and concentrate soul energy and instill it into the spellcaster who invoked it in the form of magicka. Orion, I think there needed to be a comma or a punctuation mark somewhere in there. That was a long old sentence. Quite an interesting artifact, if in fact it does exist. I would suspect that the depths of Labyrinthian would hold the secrets of the stone as Shalador sealed himself away for years at a time within its depths. Oh, the secrets which must reside within. I should very much like to explore it one day. As would I, Labyrinthian. We've not really explored Labyrinthian, have we? I know it by reputation. It's somewhere in the mountains between Morthal and Whiterun. I know that much. I've seen it on maps, and it's actually marked 
in the airship as a location we can travel to. We'll have to perhaps do that one day. Let's get these books put away. There must be all sorts of wonders that we could uncover in Labyrinthian. However, I don't know if we have the aptitude to really exploit them right now. Because it goes back to the current issue of our weapon of choice, Cyrus's saber. I feel it's hobbling us. We rely on it far, far too much. And I think that has to change. We need to start considering how we're going to proceed. We need to consider our future. I don't think we're ever going to be a great warrior. I, I no, don't think we'll be able to dance around our enemies like Inigo does in a fight. I don't think we're going to be able to overpower them with strength or shoot them from afar. The crossbow is useful, don't get me wrong, but I'm no marksman. It's, it's a handy tool, nothing really more than that. I don't really want to rely on it in combat. If somebody's charging at me, I, I want to be able to defend myself, not panic that I'm going to miss my only shot. That does make me think. Of spell tomes. Bound sword, clairvoyance, courage. Flesh of my flesh. None of these really jump out at me. Perhaps bound sword does a little bit, but the wider point, magic. Magic does jump out at me. I've seen Lucian use it to great effect. You know, freezing warriors as they come in close, sapping their stamina away as well as damaging them and freezing their joints, making them easier for Inigo to take down. I like the thought of being able to burn spiders from afar. And as well, I want to understand that phantasmal chest we have access to. And all our lunar weapons on display, which say we still need them. However, oh, that's an issue for another day. We can update our notes another day. We've already done it once already. That phantasmal chest we have is very useful. Because we, even when... Oh, hello. Good morning. Nice yes. to see you. Pleasure pleasure to meet you. My Orion's not messing around with recruiting. We're getting new staff in already. We... Struggle with storage space. Sorry, sir, this is a staff area. We struggle with storage space, even when we have Shirley, Inigo, and Lucian in tow. And myself, of course. That's a lot of weight to carry around. If we could reliably summon the phantasmal chest, understand it, and not have to worry that everything's going to disappear from inside it, I'd be a lot more comfortable using it. I think what we need to do is pay a visit to the College of Winterhold. As, as far as I'm aware at the College, they are the forefront of magic in Skyrim. I don't think there'll be any greater teachers to be found beyond its, or well, within its borders, rather. I know there are court mages, but they're all busy with the politicking and yarls, and they've got other responsibilities. The college is a place of learning. Well, I think I would benefit from going and understanding the phantasmal chest, either by researching it myself, or perhaps somebody can shed some light on it and let us know if it's safe to use just straight there and then. And Lucian would as well, I think. His... His skills are good, don't get me wrong. He's, he's far greater mage than I am, but... I think it wouldn't hurt to give us both the opportunity to study a little more magic lore. And we might even discover some, some leads for artifacts and the like. And other places we can explore. Yes, I think that's what we're going to do then. I, I need to stop just wandering around. I'm, I'm pacing. I, I'm stressed pacing right now. I'm sorry. The plan then, Lucian. Tomorrow we are setting sail, if that's the correct term. Do we still use nautical terms with an airship? I mean, it certainly puts all those other ships down there to shame. It seems almost insulting to use nautical terms for it, but nautical terms we shall. We're setting sail for the College of Winterhold. We have questions we've picked up on our journeys that need answering, such as... Can we use the Phantasmal Chest safely? Because 
it is easy enough to summon. If I just come over here. Ready? Yes. Nothing's been put back into it since we last summoned it, but I don't know if that's because whoever summoned it after us has gone, oh no, all my priceless relics and money are gone, because we took a small fortune out of this chest. I do feel a little bit guilty when I think about it still, but I don't want to put anything back there into it. Was a hero named Lucian, Lucian please, I'm trying to... And looks were just yes, yes, I know, I know. But I want to make sure we can use that chest safely. When I put things in it, I don't want them to be taken out by some other handsome, dashing adventurer at the other side. Yes, I see that big old smile after your little song. You're proud of yourself. We have other things to do in the Winterhold region as well. There's the excavation at Sarthal, which has another Golder Amulet fragment there. We, we don't know for certain, but I think it's pretty safe to say that it will be found there. We found some pretty accurate records so far. And there's also the ring of Sir Amiel. I very much would like to get that ring, and then we can go on the hunt for the other relics. Because there's apparently one in an inn, and that, well, might be Helyarkin Inn. But we'll need the ring to open the chest, or... We're going to need the specific blessing that relates to the relic to open the chest. And that just seems like a massive hassle because the only place I can think of that has all of the shrines is, well, not even all of the shrines, all of the shrines bar Talos, is Solitude. I suppose Windhelm has a Talos shrine, no doubt, the heart of the Stormcloak Rebellion. But... It, it would just be far more convenient. Who knows when we're going to get a chance to go after these relics and where they, they're all scattered about. We need that ring. There's also Merian Spyglass, which is supposed to be just off the coast of Winterhold, as well as we need to find the Elven Mage from Aranea's vision in Winterhold. And Aranea being the priestess of Azura, when she said she saw... She may well have meant literally, because she gets a hell of a view over Winterhold. She might not have meant a mystical vision at all. But we have plenty of reasons to be in their immediate area. And there's also the shards. If we ever find ourselves as far as Dawnstar, away from the college, we could go and hand the shards of Mayroon's razor in to their quote-unquote museum their own little tribute. See that one cult that tried to, I don't know, destroy the world as we know it. When I put it like that, I don't really want to go over there and give them these shards. I am much more obliged to keep them safe. I don't know. I need to think on that one more. Either way, we have a plan. I very much would also like to raise my own magical abilities. I see you in combat. You use frost and fire spells to great effect. You know, frost when they're coming in close in melee to drain their strength for all... Make it easier for Inigo to land the finishing blow. I would quite like to learn healing magic as well. I want to be able to keep us all safe, you know? Just... I'm never going to be a great warrior. I'm never going to dance around my enemies like Inigo does. You know, he's teaching you swordmanship. And I can already see you're advancing far more quickly than when I was teaching you. Either way, we have our plan. We'll have to spend one more night here. Just enjoy being in our own bed again. It's been a couple of days since we got back from the the heist. We put everything back in its place. It was a lot of work, but it has been nice to sleep in our own bed for a while. But time stops for no man. We must venture onwards. It'd be nice if we could see the college from here, but it's not to be. Right, come on. I'm just, I'm rambling now. Let's get to bed. We have a plan for the morning. Now, before we leave for the college, we need to address Cyrus's saber. We have come to rely on Cyrus's saber in every single fight we have. Not because it's particularly strong, but because it staggers everything it touches, allies included. And that's become bit of a handicap, because we're not becoming a better fighter by using it. We're just 
getting by. We're not learning how to overpower our enemies and to, you know, take them down quickly and swiftly. We're just running at them and flailing rapidly so they can't do anything about it because of the staggering. Which is why we've hung it up in the safe house for now. It's safely in our workroom. We can always go back and get it in case we need it again. One day it might make its way to the displays down here. But the replica's there for now. So we are going to take Red Eagle's Bane. More damage than Cyrus' Saber. Undead up to level 30 are set on fire and flee for 5 seconds. That seems very useful because we somehow always end up in a Nordic Ruin. Are you checking out the displays? I know, Nordic Ruins. We're always in them. So this is coming with us. Now, we also checked. We can't actually take the airship to Winterhold. Oh, hello, sir. You okay? You all calm down? You're not going to start haunting the place again, are you? Promise? Alright, that'll do for me. We can't actually take the airship to Winterhold. I'm not entirely sure why, but when we try to set sail there, so to speak, with the intention of going to Winterhold, it, the ship won't move. We consider taking it to Windhelm or Dawnstar, but I don't really want to leave an airship. I thought I heard somebody talking about binding realities and some such. Uh, yes, I don't want to leave an airship in Windhelm. They're bigoted enough as it is over there anyway. So God knows what would happen to it. We'd probably come back and find that the balloon had been ripped off the airship and it was now floating in the water like a regular ship and it had been commandeered. And if we took it to Dawnstar, it would give us an excuse to travel the coast to find the Ring of Ceramil. However, we would have to walk an awfully long way back to it. And I'm not a big fan of long walks like that if we can avoid it. So... Based on those factors, we're going to have to take a carriage. Yes, I know, Brusa. You you follow along behind us when we take the carriage, yeah? So it'll be nice to have you along for the ride. But yes, we'll need to take a carriage. And that's that's okay. We can't get a carriage back from Winterhold. But I suppose once we've finished our business there, we can probably go across the coast to Dawnstar. Oh no, it's not a carriage at Dawnstar either. We'll figure out how we're getting home eventually. No doubt we'll be able to. And we also remembered last night as we were planning, we did actually go to Winterhold before and get turned away from entering the college because we couldn't cast a spell to get in. We might need... Well, you might need to do a little bit of tutoring on the way there in the back of the carriage. Um... Look, I know it's early morning, but it's... You'd think a carriage driver would be up and ready to go. Skip, sir, sir, I don't mean to wake... Well, I do mean to wake you. I I need to hire your carriage. Need a ride? Yep, I'm hiring your carriage. Where do you want to go? We're going back to school. I, I mean, Winter, we're going to the college.